Hello Taurus and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Um, what I'm feeling like here is there's a person who literally they can't stop thinking about you. This silence, it's the silence between you now that is um, causing a major change in this person. Your silence is speaking volumes. Um, they're not hearing anything from you. They may not be seeing you anywhere out and about. Um, they could be watching you, you know, online. I've been picking up, we're all picking up on that. Um, but, you know, this person, all they can do is think about you. This is like the Six of Cups out here. Um, reminiscing, right? Um, being nostalgic. They could be looking at your old photos, old text messages, just kind of falling apart. This is a very, very emotional card. And I feel like this person wants to return to you. They do. But still, there's silence, no action. I feel like they haven't been taking any action. So you know what? I feel like they can feel your absence. Your silence in this situation now um, is speaking volumes. The fact that they know that you're detaching from this and moving forward, um, it's speaking volumes. I'm telling you. Um, you're, you're done with the situation uh, throwing it out, I feel right now you're focused on your money and you're making bank, okay? Um, living maybe, you're treating yourself here. This isn't just a box of popcorn, it's a glitter box of popcorn. So I feel like you've upgraded, you've leveled up in your life, you're making really good money, you're, t you're taking a break for yourself, you just, you just want out of this out of this energy really and you're completely focused on yourself and it's like it's it's kind of like um, making this person flip a switch okay they're totally flipping here from not wanting to take any action to wanting to come in and possibly offer you a proposal here they want to get back together period dot okay they want to get back together um, they can, I, if this is a soul contract, and a, a spiritual union, if this is a twin flame soulmate connection, I feel like, um, which it probably, most likely it is, uh, this person can feel that it's, it's like a reaction, okay? It really is a reaction. When you pull away and detach this person, they want to come towards you. When they're pulling away, it's almost like you kind of want to go towards them. It's a reaction between you two. It's a, like a push and pull. And it's making this person want to come in. Now, all they can think about is you. All they want is you. They want a commitment with you. This person is dreaming. Right now, they're kind of just daydreaming of a proposal here. Okay? They um, they want an offer. This is what this is what the holdup is now. You're not speaking. You're detaching. Okay, and they don't know how to deal with that. That's what their problem is. You're you don't seem to be having any problems right now. Honestly, your money looks great. Whatever you're doing um, as far as work or business, it's going to be booming. Um, you're just, you're, you're hustling here. You're on a daily hustle, um, focused on your abundance, your stability. Maybe you're saving money for, um, some kind of a goal that you have set for you in the new cycle. Yeah, you're, you're ending this energy because you know what? They haven't been taking any action. So now you're absolutely silent. You're not even looking in their direction. Okay. Yeah, you're just focused on you. I feel like there is a karmic individual that this person is still attached to. I'm feeling ball and chain here. So this, this, they could still be in a commitment with someone else. And this, this karmic, though, they want some kind of revenge. They know that your person is pulling away. Um, I feel like you've got a lot of bad juju being sent to you from a karmic here. And you need to keep on burning that sage, clearing your energy. Do like a home cleansing. Cleanse yourself. Take a spiritual bath. You know, meditate on that. Ask the divine to protect you from bad energy, okay? Um, yeah. 
See, I feel like your masculine is trying to ghost or give this karmic a harsh cut off here. Okay? They they really don't want to be in that relationship anymore. They don't. They may even be trying to avoid this karmic. This masculine could, um, like, they could be spending more time at work. Or they could be spending a lot of time in their car. Or they could just be, you know, trying to get away from this karmic any way that they can. I do feel like they're, I'm feeling that ball and chain energy here. So I feel like they are committed somewhat to this person. It may be a marriage. But this karmic, they know that the days are numbered in that relationship. It's, it's coming to an end. It's not going to last like this. It's just not. I feel like this masculine knows who it is that they want. Um, beyond the shadow of a doubt in my mind, this person knows that they want you. Period. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. You're the only one that they want to think about. They don't even want to be around this karmic anymore. And so this karmic knows this. You know, they can tell. They're ready to explode here because they're getting ready for this masculine's extreme harsh cutoff. I can't make it up. I can't make it up. And I feel like this masculine spends a lot of time in their car. <laughs> I don't know why I'm... I'm seeing a lot of vehicles here. I feel like, um, yeah, they spend a lot of time in the car. Or maybe this person has to, like, yeah, look, they know. I feel like they know there's a uh, there's a divorce coming up here, guys. This this karmic is already considering um, what they're gonna want in child support and alimony. Okay, they're really. Um, thinking about their money as far as the losses that they're going to take here or what they're going to take this masculine for, okay? Um, because you're masculine, they've been hiding. They've been hiding how they feel. They've been hiding um, what they want to do. They haven't been honest. They haven't been, it says here that um, they haven't been facing the truth and they've been in denial. Yeah, they were in denial for a while, but they're not anymore. It's just that they haven't been, they, they're not confronting this karmic. They're not, they're not, they haven't been honest with the karmic yet. They're really just trying to avoid the karmic, okay? <laughs> and the karmic keeps chasing after him. Where are you going? What are you doing? Uh, where are you going? Hey, hey, when are you coming back? Where have you been? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because they don't want to be around them at all. I feel like the karmic has been, like, begging for their attention. Can I go with you? <laughs> right? Can I go with you wherever it is that you're going? <laughs> you know, I feel like this person can't even go to the bathroom alone when they're there, and that's why they're trying not to be there, okay? They don't want to be around this karmic. All they can think about is how they love you, how they desire you, how they can't get enough of you, and how they want to tell you how they feel. That's it. This person just wants to come towards you. Okay? This could also be somebody who, who's in hot pursuit of you, too, and coming in begging, but I'm really getting the sense that that's it. This is, uh, this is how they're, they're now being chased kind of by the karmic. You know, can I go with you? They want to be with this person all the time. They watch them. They, they watch what they're doing. They ask them 20 questions when they come back. Um, you know, I feel like this masculine, they're being pulled towards you, okay? Because this is a past life soulmate connection. I feel like there's a history between you guys that goes back centuries, ages, lifetimes, okay? You have a history in love with each other, lifetime after lifetime after lifetime. I don't have twin flame cards out here yet, but I feel like this is it, okay? And I feel like, um, yeah, your person is on the verge of finally confessing their love to you here. Or they want to, they can't stop thinking about you. It's insatiable. This person is absolutely obsessed, okay? Yeah, man, I'm telling you, this is the this is divine intervention here. This person is being pulled right to you. They're in a mental prison over this. They feel very stuck 
you know, at, at. I don't even want to say in because this person never wants to be there. Um, they're, they're stuck at a home situation that they can't stand, okay? They may feel like they're very confined right now and they know that you're leaving them behind. Some of you could be moving, buying a new home, changing locations altogether. You're leaving. You're leaving. Like this is real, okay? And I feel like this person knows it. They're, I can feel the, can you hear it in my voice, guys? I'll try to calm down. <laughs> the panic that your person is going through or for whoever this is for, right? They're literally, they're, the panic is setting in here because you are not, you're not speaking. They're not hearing from you. You're leaving the scene. They can feel the detach. You're mo you could be moving away. And this person, that bond, that um, soul tie, I want to call it a soul tie. It's so strong that... Um, Oh my gosh, man, this person is like panicking. I don't even know how to explain it. Uh, all they can think about is you and having a long-term relationship with you. All they're doing is fantasizing about you. Okay? You're like, um, you're a dream for this person. You're a dream. I'm telling you. You know, they dream of proposing to you. And having this wonderful union, you know, it's almost like, um, it's almost like they're, the way they think about you, it, it feels like a musical, you know, <laughs> um, it's very daydreamy and very, oh man, this person's in love with you. Yeah, they know they got to get a divorce. Yeah, they know they, this is them saying, I, I got to get out of this. I got to get a divorce. My divine feminine is out there running around single, beautiful, a fantasy girl. I need to, I'm hearing fantasy girl by 38 special. I always get that with this card. This is a fantasy girl card. Um, yeah. And, and you're getting away. You're leaving. This is real. And the reality is setting in. And it's making this person panic. And they know they got to bust free from this karmic. And the karmic knows it too. They can feel it too. And they want to retaliate. They want revenge. Man. It's intense, guys. It's really intense energy. I'm having a hard time here. Yeah, I'm even being triggered by this person's energy. And they're being triggered to go after you because you're leaving you're leaving it's real like it just got very real for this person okay it just got very real for this person oh my gosh they feel your disconnect okay they feel it hardcore and they're being triggered every like uh, i feel like this person is the kind of um they they're getting signs uh, they could be seeing your name popping up in things like advertisements on TV even, you know. Um, they may be seeing somebody who drives the same car that you do out there, and that triggers them to think of you. Um, they could be driving. I feel like this person's driving around looking for you, okay? Yeah, wishing, hoping, praying, yearning that they'll have another chance to bump into you somehow. They don't know where to find you at this point. Oh my gosh, their energy is just, you guys, I, I'm, I might have to stop this and, and clear this energy because even I can't stand it. I can't stand it. <laughs> I have to say, oh my gosh, the panic in this person. Yeah, it just got very real for them very fast. Oh, they're going to be crushed. They are going to be crushed. If they can't find you, if they can't get back together, if they can't have their wish. I, this person's crying, praying, um, stressed out, you guys. <laughs> for whoever this is for, oh my goodness. And you're like, la, 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 here you are. Here you are with your little glitter box of popcorn. You've got your back turned in almost every, in, in almost every picture. Doing the divine feminine thing, moving forward, okay? 
leaving, detaching, um, walking away from this connection. Okay. Oh boy, they can feel it. They're trying to reach you telepathically, but you know what? You're no longer tapped into this person's energy. You're done. If this is a detach, cover up the, the pictures and just or cover up the words and look at the picture. There's a plug here missing. They're tapping into you, trying to telepathically communicate. They're getting sign synchronicities through music, TV ads, scenes, whatever, it, um, hearing things through songs, dreams, their dream state, right? But you are no longer connected with this person, okay? Maybe some of you have done a cord cutting. I'm seeing a, like, yeah, I don't know, you're trying to sever this thing. The, the detach is that strong, and it's driving this person crazy, crazy, okay? They're ignoring the karmic. The karmic wants revenge. They want to cause some kind of chaos. They know that a divorce is coming. A divorce in this karmic situation is imminent, okay? It is. It's coming. I feel like, um, yeah, you're, uh, wow, uh, closed, trapped, and frustrated. I feel like that's the karmic, oh no, that's the divine masculine. They're asking, they're asking for help to get out of the situation as soon as they possibly can before you get away. That's what this is. They feel like they won't be able to break free, 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 free fast enough, <laughs> sorry. They won't be able to be, to break free for fast enough. Try to say that three times fast, guys. Is it just me? It's got to be a retrograde or something. But yeah, they're praying for divine intervention. They're praying for help. Please, God, please do not let me lose my opportunity with my divine feminine. I can't feel them anymore. You understand? That's what they're saying. I can't feel them anymore. I know I'm losing them. Please help me. I need help breaking free from this karmic. You know, I feel like this person is praying and the divine is like, but buddy, you let all your time tick by. You allowed, you sat in this energy. You could have done something about it and you sat in it and just let the time tick away. We gave you time to get out. Now this, this feminine is breaking free. Oof. They don't have any time left. They don't have any time left. Yeah, I'm telling you. Look, this person... <laughs> it just got real for them. Very real. Um, heavy, heavy emotions. Very waves. Heavy waves of emotion overcoming this person. I can feel it. It's giving me the chills. They may just want to pop up at, on you. They may just want to pop up on you and give you this unexpected surprise visit, but I'm telling you, they're still attached to the karmic. They're coming in prematurely. I feel like time has run out on this person, and you're getting away. Oh, man. They may even show up at your house and realize that you've moved. And that you're blocking this energy out because you're sick of being forbidden love. You're sick of the no action, the silence between you. You're sick of being ignored. You're sick of being treated like an option. You're sick of this person wasting all their time when they should be putting in the effort. And I feel like you're just done. You're holding your hand up like, I don't want any more of this. I'm working on my money. You could be a boss, business owner. Focused on you, your abundance, and what's coming for you in the future, okay? You've learned your lessons from this third-party situation. You've been through all the ups and downs, the sadness, the heartache, the betrayal, and I feel like now you're just done, okay? And you're breaking free. Yeah, this person, oh my gosh, you guys, I got to get out of their energy. Um, they could have children involved. Somebody could have gotten pregnant. You could have heard about that. And um, and you that could have been the trigger that said, no, no more, right? Sorry about that. My battery died. 
But yeah, I feel like you've learned your lesson from this third party situation. I'm also feeling like, you know, um, you won here. I, I feel like you, you are being, you, you're victorious. You've won this game. And not that it was a game, but I'm seeing this as a chessboard here, you know. Um, and I feel like you're just done with the situation. This person is going to try, I feel like they're very tempted at least to come and give you some kind of pop-up visit, but they're coming in prematurely collective. Okay, I don't know where my battery died, so I want to just kind of recap. Um, yeah, I feel like they want to be single. They want to come in and pretend that they're single. They're completely obsessed. They may tell you I'm about to be single, but it's not the same as being single. <laughs> okay. And I feel like you're just, you've had enough. Oh my gosh. And you just, I feel kind of like um, that you're disgusted. Okay. This person, yeah, I feel like they are getting ready though. They are getting ready to have a conversation. Not so much with you. I mean, they want to have a talk with you too. But this is them talking to their, their karmic partner. Okay, I feel like they're having a talk with the karmic and they're telling them why they don't want to be there anymore. They're telling them that it's toxic. They're telling them that um, there's a very unhealthy behaviors um, and that the situation is unhealthy. But I feel like, um, so they are going to talk to the karmic, but still they're, they haven't completely broken free. I feel like regardless, you're done with this. I, that disconnect, I can feel it, your person can feel it, okay, okay, 